Hello everyone. Um, this is today is the big data ECA training. So um, let's wait for another couple of minutes. Uh, so make sure everyone who join is live. Um, we are gonna spend maybe a um, couple of hours to explain the how Alibaba Cloud Big Data Architecture and the products. Okay, um, let's just wait a few uh, minutes to make sure everybody was in this live. Okay, great, 70 viewers now. Um, we may start at um, 5 past 12. Let's wait two more minutes so that everybody can join this session. Can anybody uh, can clear clearly see my screen and hear my voice? If, if can do, you can type yes or one in the Dinta group. So that I make sure. Okay, great. Thanks for your response. Great, great. Thank you very much. Okay, we will start at 5 past 12 and this is Beijing time and I think we have uh, India um, attendees and so that Indonesia and Singapore and any other place all over the world. Hello everyone, um, this is Alibaba Cloud Big Data Training. We will spend a couple of hours to give you an introduction of Alibaba Cloud Big Data Architecture and the products. Um, today we may cover most of the products. And I, if you think big, big data is kind of technical and uh, maybe uh, boring, especially we deliver this training session in the afternoon um, but I'm gonna try to make this uh, interesting so that you can just like watching movies and uh, but make sure uh, you have you, you are going to attend the last session because it will be the ACA certification exam we're, we're gonna to introduce some outlines of what are we gonna to test in the ACA exam and we're going to explain some simple questions. I think that may help to pass the AC exam. Uh, okay, uh, let's start today's um, session. And uh, we're there. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of products when we deliver a, a, per, a big data project. So we we are. Consisting, consisting about the batch data perform, um, processing and the streaming data processing. Uh, I will switch over between the slides and the cloud console. So I, I will not uh, keep, keep talking against this slides. I think that that may make you want to fall asleep. So I may switch to, switch to the cloud console and uh, give you a uh, maybe a general picture of what does the big data products looks like and how to kick start to uh, quickly deploy when uh, maybe your project um, immediately okay we're, we're gonna cover most of uh, the topic here and we divide it into three parts some of the topic may change according to our uh, progress so mainly that's uh, i divide it into uh, into three. One is why using Alibaba Cloud Big Data. Number two will be what we can provide to our customer and partners. 
And number three will be um, this. This is a big part. We're going to explain how to quickly start using Alibaba Cloud big data products. Okay, let's jump to, to quickly introduce of Alibaba Group. I'm not sure if anyone of you knows Alibaba Group. We actually start our business in uh, 1999 uh, by Jack Ma. Uh, first, we are we we just selling uh, stuff, maybe B two B and uh, B two C, and then we start uh, the B two C means uh, Taobao. We start business. As the business is growing, there is a payment uh, issue that because the customer in in China mainland uh, worried about they 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 when they are not have received the, the goods they are bought but they, they need to pay first so we founded Alipay to guarantee that everyone can the buyers and the sellers can trust each other and then we have in the 2000 uh, in 2007 we have Alimama which is helping to do some operation against the data and help the, the sellers to do some promotion and uh, recommend the best products to our customers. And then we have our B2C Timo, and we, we uh, appeal some big sellers into our, it is guarantee is uh, qualities in the Timo station. And uh, in 2009, that's a special year for Alibaba Group. It's, it's the start year of Alibaba Cloud. I, I actually uh, come from the Alibaba Cloud which now is the infrastructure of the whole Alibaba group and um, it's also the first year of double eleven so in, in the two in the year of 2009 uh, two unrelated thing happens but now the Alibaba cloud become the foundation technology to support double eleven and then we have on financial and logistic like Cainiao and um, in 2009, we changed, we upgrade Alibaba Cloud into Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. We have some AI um, technologies to support the big data and cloud computing uh, technology. So this is actually Alibaba Cloud is the foundation of all the business group of Alibaba, uh, other business group like um, some other we have already introduced. We provide the infrastructure and they are generating the data and uh, go back to put the data into Alibaba Cloud. Okay, um, why Alibaba Cloud? Because we are totally application driven. Um, most of the products is actually not come from um, maybe libraries and theory. We it is all came uh, from the request of the customer requirement. And um, our most the two uh, most the famous two applications will be Double Eleven and uh, ET Brains for vertical industry. We will explain that uh, explain that soon. So before we go into uh, the app, real applications, we will because we, this is a big data course, right? Uh, we're gonna to introduce some history of data management tools. Um, not saying the punch card is too far away from now. It, let's start from the hard disk because we, we first we store the data on, on the hard disk um, because the human beings cannot directly talk to talk to the um, hardware. So we have employed uh, employed the file system help us to store some data and well organized by using directories and subdirectories directory something like that because it is it's a lack of concurrency support so we move our data into the uh, database because there's all kind of database like like hierarchical database and like network database then comes uh, out the uh, relational database um, the theory is actually from IBM and uh, Oracle uh, Larry Ellison maybe uh, introduced the idea into to build one um, very famous re relational database now. It is really got a popular for even now. So uh, when when the when come into the year of two, 2000, um, 
because Google have because Google is providing the search um, service to the public, he is gathering um, the web page information all over the world. So the Google have actually met with some big data problem, and he uh, the Google uh, published three papers to tell how they gonna solve those problems. The first one is uh, describing the distributed file system, and MapReduce is describing uh, how they uh, process the large amount of data based on the distributed file system, and. The GFS and MapReduce have added into the Notch project, which invented by dog cutting. Dog cutting is, um, uh, you may need to remember this person, is actually the, the father of Hadoop. This is um, it's actually inspired by those three papers from Google. I think most of you may already be familiar with the story. And then the Hadoop become the top level Apache project. And in 2009, it is uh, actually the first year of Alibaba Cloud, and we we actually built our own Apasara system, which is support a larger amount of data in Alibaba Cloud. Okay, this is actually the history of the big data platform in Alibaba Cloud. At the beginning, we are not a technical company; we are just selling stuff on the internet. We are building our uh, business system on Oracle database and even though we have the Asia largest Oracle cluster we have 20 node Oracle real application cluster and in, in that time it is um, the, the, the biggest in the Asia area and even that it cannot afford the large amount of business in Alibaba cloud because we are we have we are serving billions of people in China mainline market. So we move our business into Groom Pump, which is uh, distributed. And uh, then even uh, we, we began to use Hadoop. And finally, we reached the limitation of Hadoop cluster, which is 5,000. Because it will have a badly performance downgrade when the, the node reached the 5,000 in, in Hadoop. So we, we decided to start um, our own uh, business, uh, big data platform. So in 2009 is actually we start the first line of code of Apasara system, which we call Apasara. And then comes uh, some other you know, products. I will not go into the detail. Um, okay, we, we, I had it year 2009 and uh, we actually print this first line of code of Apsara into our t-shirt to remember that day, which is 2009. Okay, so in the latest uh, double 11, which is invented by Alibaba, uh, Alibaba Group, it is a shopping festival. Uh, I will not go into these numbers, uh, just from technical de detail. We are dealing with nine 970 petabyte of data in that single day because based on our batch data processing system which is max compute we, we are gonna to put a lot of um, effort to explain that later and there is an AI 14 billion um, recommendation is generated by AI system and um, 590 thousand um, uh, because we we are deploying the AI customer service which equivalent equivalent of uh, five and five hundred and ninety thousand human manpower that single day so we are deploying actually using the big data and AI technologies to support the world maybe the world uh, uh, most um, big shopping festival um, so this is these are best some applications. This is for double eleven, and we are using this dashboard. But the end of the whole is the streaming data processing engine, and we can deploy some IoT devices, uh, so that the individuals may not need to go to the shopping mall physically, just uh, sit in front of 
in front of an IoT device can choose the color of lipstick. And this is what we are doing for the whole cities. This is called City Brain, already deployed in Hangzhou and in Macau and even in some other city of the world. So we are using some maps and using the smart cameras and sensors on the road. We can detect, detect what is going on in the whole city. Well, that's the core technologies we are introducing in the W11. So from the big data expect, we, are, we already explained that. And uh, our database is actually uh, supporting the business system. The PolarDB and actually uh, with the uh, business ordering system uh, to support W11. And even our security is preventing uh, maybe 60 billion attack from the worldwide. So uh, these are uh, most of the technologies are guaranteed we are going to have a smooth experience from the customer side. And those technologies are used to guarantee that. Our ET brains is actually based on cloud computing as infrastructure and big data as the technologies and AI. And um, so this is one application we we are actually using when talking about the city brain is it is not uh, cannot uh, not only can deploy on the whole city it also can deploy in the one single compass and using connecting smart cameras we we, we can uh, we can we can mapping those individuals or the, the the crowd onto this three dimension map so we can tell what is going on on the ground so we can easily to control the entrance to let just go out cannot go in when some area is very crowded so this one is for the uh, illegal behavior tracking um, so this is for the government for to do the data security so this this may sensitive to some overseas government uh, we may adjust that it's according to the uh, appliance. We can uh, deploy only in this single box and, and connect, connect with smart cameras or ordinary cameras because we have one plugin to connect to ordinary camera so that it will help the camera turn to a smart camera. Okay, this is where what we built for a Hong Kong airport to help to better scheduling the flight and the to see what is going on in the terminal building, to track the traffic of the, the uh, peoples inside of the terminal. Okay, we have deployed all the big data and AI technologies in different vertical industry. All right, the first thing, I, I, I will not put lots of effort from the uh, first one, just to tell what we are actually doing. And number two is, we are gather some challenges internal Alibaba group and uh, come from our customers or partners. I think that may some challenges and vision uh, from your organization also. So you can maybe uh, take some for reference. Okay, this is actually when challenges from internal Alibaba group because uh, at the first, at the beginning, we are not a very uh, maybe technical company. We didn't think well to organize our data platform. Each business unit have their own raw data, and um, um, and they don't uh, design well for its data platform. And maybe not 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 saying one business unit have their raw data. Uh, also for the uh, a small group even introduced to copy and paste their raw data and build a whole application based on this raw data. So there are many duplicated, large amount of duplicate data, uh, data in the internal Alibaba group. And uh, there is a warning, warning email from a CTO to Jack Ma because our profit and the data platform was 
uh, gonna eaten by our own applications, not saying to provide the public service. So from Jack Ma level, they want to do uh, a one what we call a one unif unified data platform. We call it data media. Uh, we we are introducing the one data because the whole business group um, is using one copy of data, no other duplication duplicate data, and we have a unified ID for one customer. No matter you're you're coming from Timo and you come from Taobao and you even from Alibaba Cloud, you just, we 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 trying to describe assign one individuals with one ID. So because um, before before deploying this system, um, we 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 actually maybe have 10, 100, 100, um, maybe ten billion. 10 billion IDs. So that's 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 not make sense because it's larger than the than the global population. And after that, now we only we, we can reduce our customer ICs maybe uh, like 12 and 13 billion uh, IDs for our customers. Uh, now now you can see it is not one one mapping to a physical person, but we will tr we try our best. I think that's the best best result. We can do, and so when when Alibaba Group start a small data enterprise, we actually um, because we not design well, we, we become an ordered an ordered small data center, and then we become an unordered big data uh, big data center, and we put lots of manpower, put lots of effort to change. The situation into a regular connect and intelligence. That's what it does look like today. So, um, when we suggest our customer and partners, if you start from a small data enterprise, enterprise, even though in, you don't you don't have much amount of data currently, we should suggest you uh, to do a uh, regular your. In this center, you organized and design your data center well, so it will uh, smoothly turn into a regular connect and intelligence state media. And if we, if you are already a big enterprise and you already suffer from your data problem, I think we have we we are have a lots of experience to help our customer to do that. So that's. This these two slides is from internal Alibaba Group because we are facing we have too much data to uh, to deal with. But some enterprises they are suffering they cannot they, they cannot touch the data, and like the vertical industries and manufacturer manufacturing industries, um, they, they they just uh, in the traditional way they let their channel partners. To take care of the real uh, direct customer, so they cannot even touch their real customer. So those companies actually have the prob problem that they have no data from their direct customers. So we can also help to do that. So that's one challenge. Another challenge is we are facing some threat relative to fraud and cybersecurity. From the threat, we are from uh, maybe 2008. We are, we are actually facing some fake ID and skimming and phishing and APT. APT. Next slide, I will explain what is APT. And crime organization from individuals to organize the crime. So we are facing more serious, more professional uh, crime organization. And uh, what are we going to do? To deal with the, the security problem, and the first we are just uh, using some expert system to manually to do the manually detection, and uh, we come from Rubis. Uh, okay, so this part is actually the expert system too, right? And we are in introducing some uh, machine learning and um, uh, like AI to automatically detect. Uh, uh, 
maybe the, the thread. So this is the APT, what we call advanced persistent thread. And this is not something uh, from the movie, it it's did happen a uh, couple of years ago in Europe Bank. The, the hike, the, um, uh, the criminals even hike their uh, the employees' uh, PCs from, uh, from their several banks and they, they, are, they were able to search for the a PC with high uh, permission so they can manipulate the database and even mimic the uh, personnel behavior and to manipulate the ATM machines so they can um, dispense cash in a predetermined time from specific ATM machines. Uh, those are uh, one customer is uh, called China's Eye, which is a sensitive reading telescope in China. And it's actually what they're facing, the challenge, the challenge is when this device is start, it will generate in 50 terabytes one day and uh, it need real-time upload and storage even to do the data process. So what their problem is lack of storage capacity and um, compute capacity. This is one genie company. Um, each person uh, have 100 gigabyte of genie data. In a traditional way, they may take maybe a couple of days to process um, what is some correct uh, characters of against of genie data um, by deploying uh, the the ability on the cloud, they may easily to do that within hours. Uh, this is a traditional company in China because at first they are using Hadoop. They are using Hadoop because they think it is cost effective, right? Because the software is for free, and um, and the S eighty six Hardware is not that expensive, but later on they find they're, they're, they're uh, taking lots of costs to hire experts of Hadoop. And they're not, fo not focusing on their business, they're just focusing on to how to solve the problems they found in Hadoop. Alright, this is um, for wind, wind a ge generator and uh, we are using some sensors in the bear so that we can detect some abnormal signals uh, at the beginning not wait until it, the whole device is gonna broke it will save lots of um, cost to change a small devices of this equipment not wait until it is um, the whole device is broken okay and to sum to sum it up, the problem can be the cost, uh, lack of uh, storage capacity and the compute capacity, and uh, they are they are focusing on the infrastructures, not able to have some innovations, even build some applications is because it is too uh, complicated with the architecture. Also face some problem with security. Um, sorry. So when when you can, it will make it all easy on, on on the cloud. Okay, that's maybe some we are gathering some challenges and the visions from the enterprise, and then we'll show what we gonna provide. So from the technical detail, those are the big data service. We separate those product into four categories. One is um, data collection and the storage analysis and process and data visualization and consume. Um, if you guys are familiar with some other cloud providers um, services, you can easily to mapping those we visit. Uh, I will uh, take some time to explain this part, analysis and data process. Max Compute is actually a PB level data warehouse um, because almost, almost all the data in Alibaba Group, the data is on Max Compute. Almost. We, we now we have maybe a couple of EB uh, data on, on Max Compute. 
so we are not facing, dealing with the data in internal Alibaba group. We also provide service to the public. Real-time compute. Real-time compute is actually um, is a, a streaming data process because it's totally based on Flink. If you are familiar with the Apache Flink, we actually purchased the company um, who created the Flink. It is a German company called Verica. You can adopt the Verica platform. It is, you can also adopt some the, the real-time compute from Alibaba Cloud. And uh, we are we are contribute lots of uh, code to the uh, open source community, and to build uh, you can easily now you can easily write the SQL which we call Flink SQL uh, in in the Flink platform, and not using some complicated like Scala and Java in in the Flink. So you can you can using SQL now from 1.9 version. Now we are we are contribute more about uh, on the open source. Open source. The EMAP produces what we are going to talk also today, um, which is the Hadoop on cloud. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is just the Hadoop on cloud. You can choose a different version to mapping of your different version of Hadoop. Pi is our machine learning platform. Um, we will demonstrate later uh, also and holograms for real-time data warehouse because we have this data warehouse is more like a data lake and we can it is for batch processing specifically and this is for real-time OLAP and we have our online version of Elasticsearch which is 100 compatible with open source one function compute and uh, there is a uh, a serverless compute is just like AWS Lambda. They are the same thing. Unlike the database, and I think they are the same. Um, they are they are using the same scenario. We also have our data consumer products, the Quick BI, which is uh, more like a Power BI from Microsoft, and uh, which is for the BI system on the cloud. It can support. Um, maybe row level permission control and support organizations can guarantee that different person with different permissions have different uh, view of the report and this is a very fancy um, dashboard which is using data v uh, just now we are introducing the hong kong airport uh, which is 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 actually using this data v we have lock service to monitoring deal with the lock event analysis of course as well okay um, that's the whole picture of Alibaba cloud big data service uh, so we are going to go into a, a technical part okay uh, the, because there are maybe two, two areas of the data manipulation in the beginning, um, maybe your organization is busy with uh, your business system, right? You have you have your CRM system, you have order system, and the web applications. You have lots of events. You gather some data into your transactional database because they are very. Um, if your transactional database is actually support very crucial services in your enterprise, right? You don't want to bring more pressures on this um, business system. It will be here. This is supporting your business. That's matter. Uh, because uh, we are generating, we are generating large amount of unstructured data. So. We are going to import some data from different area, not only the transactional database. We are, we are gathering the data into the, some other places because we don't want to bring any more pressures on the existing system, right? Because they are already under much pressure and they are very crucial for our business. So 
we want to extract the data from the traditional database into our data warehouse and uh, using this this data analysis system to get some report and do some ad hoc queries and to provide a service to some other consumers. So this part is what we call big data part, big data part. In the beginning, I think it is, it's, it is not that important as traditional uh, like business system, but nowadays we can dig more values from those data because we do some data recommendations, it, it will improve maybe 20 and 30 percent of your GMV. And, um, and we also can use this to open, optimize your whole system, also can reduce your costs. That's very important also. So, so far we are using database to deal with, with this part. And we are using big data, big data to deal with this part. Okay, well, what we are talking is actually in this part, in this part. All right, um, that's a very complex uh, chart. So we, we just uh, explain in these four categories. So the first one is data integration. We provide lots of kind, all kinds of tools. I don't want to go into detail now. And then the data processing, I will uh, give you a brief introduction of Max Compute, which is offline data warehouse, and real-time lab, which is ADB, and streaming data processing, real-time compute. We are going to introduce those two today. And uh, in the upper level, we are using the development and the data maintenance governance tools, which is called DataWorks. Uh, there's a lot of components in the DataWorks. You can see DataWorks is e easy to use, very convenient for developers, but it's, um, it is have very, you know, if someone of you may use about the DataWorks, it it's have lots of components there. Um, okay, that's we are going to demonstrate it today and also did we. So very fancy dashboard. Okay, that's the whole picture of um, our big data platform. All right, and here is actually a case study. Uh, it is a hot, very famous hot pot in hot pot, a hot pot uh, restaurant in uh, China mainline. Also, you can find maybe two in, in Jakarta. I'm not sure it is, uh, it have some uh, in, in the India or Singapore. I think Singapore have maybe several of the Heidi Law. In Jakarta, we have two. I actually, last time I've been, I, I have been to Jakarta and I went, went to one uh, Heidi Law. Uh, in, in, in Jakarta, it's, uh, I think it is more delicious um, compared to Beijing. So I think it is uh, in Jakarta it is better because the beef there is very delicious. Okay, um, the Heidi uh, is actually our customers because uh, they are facing those pain point before using our system. Uh, first, their CRM system is based on Oracle database. Uh, it's a traditional IOE, which is um, stand for IBM uh, hardware uh, Oracle database and EMC storage. And uh, we we went to our customers to do the investigation. They actually have to restart their Oracle database every two week to get a better performance because there is no space for them to do the optimization. Uh, that's the, the just the cannot afford the, the the business and even the overload on the peak hour because in the weekend um, it's a very famous restaurant restaurant in the weekend everybody can and there is a long queue to waiting for to have a gathering in uh, in this restaurant. And they have a long cycle on large-scale promotion 
because they cannot directly touch their customer. They don't know how to touch their customer. And they're also facing some uh, competitions. So what we are do is um, we, we uh, end with our partners to build one uh, mobile applications which we call super app for Hydelo. Now, you when you are um, going to the restaurant or before to the restaurant, you can using the the app, the applications to uh, do the schedule, to do the reservation, to uh, get the order, and uh, even queue the line. And it can also have some social media functions there. You can uh, dating your maybe your friends and. The, or, or some strangers uh, they, if they want to have a, have a dinner with you in this restaurant and can also do in this super app. The young people love that. So now they are gathering some data from their customers. They, they, can, uh, they can now touch their customers. Um, that's a good start. It's, uh, it, 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 after deploying the system in Alibaba Cloud, its CRM system performance actually improved. A lot, and um, their their performance actually also improve uh, the whole system. And now they are highly customized service to their to their customers, which in the super app here, different person can view the different layout and content because they are do the some personnel recommendations uh, according to the old history orders. All right, um, this is the one well, use case. Uh, what are we going to do to help our customers to win on their business? I think that's the first two part. We are actually taking maybe 45, 45 minutes to describe that. And uh, OK, let me check if it is everything goes it is still OK now. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to leave in the Dinta group. I will maybe check later. Oh, okay, so let's just continue. And we're going to jump into the third part, which is more technical, more technical. All right, uh, the relationship among the big data products. And you can see this. Uh, these are the compute engine, uh, max compute, real time compute, and the Hadoop on cloud, which we call EMAP produce. This is for a Pi, which is machine learning, interactive analysis, graphic compute, and uh, electric search. You can see there's a, in the very special position in the middle of the picture. You can see this data works. That means the data works is very important, and um, it's. Uh, is a pretend. It's just acting a, a very important role in those big data products. So uh, I think the first product we're gonna make is this DataWorks. Okay. Um, I think. Uh, okay. Here, first of in DataWorks, right? We're going to in the first part, which is data integration. Because when you want to deploy some big data project, the first thing you need is to gather some data. I, I will jump out to the slides and directly to go to the cloud console because I, I, I don't want to read these slides anymore. Um, we are going to directly go to the console. Um, you log on with your Alibaba Cloud account. What's happened? Console. They want me to clear the cache. Okay, let me just to reopen this uh, canoe. Um, because using this state works, we better use canoe. 
because we are actually introduced some plugins in this in this um, browser. Uh, I'm going to log on to this cloud console. Okay, let me jump into this one. I think we are going to jump in from our internal site. Wait for a minute, I will quickly change into English version soon. Give me some time. Okay, that's it. So this is actually the Alibaba Cloud Console and we can find the products in the left top corner. So you can just uh, click this and it goes to maybe our first product. Is, there's a lot of products. You can type in the keywords and we are going to use DataWorks. Okay, this is actually the main page of DataWorks. And uh, you can see, if it is your new to DataWorks, I think there is a totally blank in this area. And the first thing you need to do is to create a workspace, is to create a workspace. Um, you can open the active the service in different region. Let's say in Singapore, and uh, even in the U.S. Silicon Valley, you can open this um, services by in the in here. And if you already open some services, it will gonna sh it will not show the warnings. Okay, you just gave a workspace name like the um, today's um, uh, it's June. So there is a it is a mode when you're create a DataWorks workspace. Uh, you can consider DataWorks and uh, the, the based on mass computer is actually a data, it is a multi-tenant environment. You just create one tenant for your for your applications. So there is a two mode, one is basically mode and the other is standard mode. Standard mode is what we recommended because there is a development and product environment. Uh, so the developers can do the, the developing in, in the development environment and then he submit the code to his senior management after the review and audit of the senior management it will approve the submission then it will check into the production environment I think that is that's uh, what we recommended if you are using that into a production environment. Okay, there is a lot of compute engine we can choose. We can choose the max compute. Um, we can choose a real time compute if it's if it's you have. We can choose the EMAP produce and uh, machine learning platform. Okay, let's first we we choose this two. Uh, display name. Uh, resource group is. Uh, it will use some uh, resources. It will use the default resource group, which is shared by some other um, by some other users. So when everything is okay, so now Max Compute data types because Max Compute is more like a data warehouse applications. It will um, more you can consider it's more powerful. It is just like the Hive in in the Hadoop, but it's more powerful than Hadoop. And uh, we can, if you are, your legacy system is based on Hive, we even have the Hive compatible type and the even 2.0 uh, data type is have more uh, advanced, advanced uh, data type in, in this, in this, um, 
in this version of Max Compute. Okay, we create a workspace. And it may need take some time to do that. Okay, now we have successfully. Um, I will switch. Uh, make sure you have the red region. So we have this uh, project a workspace created now. So it is still updating. Okay. So while we are waiting, how about we? We take we take ten minutes, uh, ten minutes break, uh, so you can get a drink or uh, to to have some uh, rest. We will continue. Uh, we will continue ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Okay, I will end for this sessions live and we'll restart the sessions uh, training sessions. Uh, so pay attention to this team talk group. Okay, let's make let's meet continue ten minutes later. Okay, let's take take a rest. See you later.